Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Yo soy señor Eduardo y yo soy tu profesor de español. Bienvenido a la clase de español nivel 1, principiantes de Rolla Languages. Hello everybody, this is señor Eduardo from Rolla Languages and I'm your Spanish teacher and we are going through Spanish 1, level 1, beginner. And I'm super excited um, if you've continued this journey. So a little bit about Rolla Languages, World Language Institute located in Cambridge. Um, you guys can uh, get some information at our website at www.rollalang.com if you want to uh, dive a little deeper into Espanol, Espanol. Um, and I'm super excited. We are continuing this. This is our next, our episode uh, 14. So you guys are um, are crushing it, and um, we're continuing. So, la semana pasada, nosotros vimos, or aprendimos, más vocabulario. El vocabulario era de los vegetales. Los vegetales. So, we learned last week, vocabulary, los vegetales. So, we're going to start there. Now, I'm sure you have memorized them <laughs> um, and you have practiced and practiced them and you're doing awesome with them. But if you haven't, we're going to repeat them very quickly together and your job is to memorize them. So as I said before, um, when you learn a language for the first time or you're seeing the language for the first time, you're making a lot of different sounds, different words, and it's sometimes a little harder for you to memorize them than if I gave you a list of English vocabulary words. Okay, so put in the time, but you can do this. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time, you can jump in today, no problem. We are just going to be repeating a lot of words. Um, part of the method is a lot of repetition, especially at the beginning. Um, you are all adult learners, or most of you who are watching this are adult learners. And we learn a little bit different than kids, and that's a reality, okay? And not all of us have time to be in immersive situations, which is poss possibly the best way to learn a language. You're watching these videos, which are about 25, 26 minutes, um, and then you're moving on with your day, right, to the next one, unless you do some homework. So put in the time, take your time. If this is your first time watching this with me, just repeat out loud. So I tell my students, don't repeat in your head. I want you to repeat out loud because you're actually, most of you will be learning the language to speak, right? To communicate using your words. That's what I tell my students, use your words. Okay, let's do a quick review um, of los vegetales, the vegetables, and then we'll practice with las frutas. So I'm gonna repeat these one time because you should have practiced them already. And then we'll move on to las frutas and we'll practice using those. So repita por favor, repita por favor. Right here, repeat, repita. La zanahoria, la lechuga, el tomate, el pepino, la cebolla, el ajo, el pimiento, el aguacate, los champiñones, los hongos, el brócoli, las espinacas, los guisantes, los espárragos, la perenjena, el maíz, el ajo, la coliflor, and la calabaza, la calabaza. Okay, muy bien, perfecto. Now, we have done a lot of, we've done some, this has been a week since your last class with me here on uh, BIG, and we practiced using the verb uh, ser, which means to be, to be, I, and I said practice 
as a joke kind of right say i want i i am a mushroom or i am a spinach or i am not a broccoli okay just practice have a little fun with it it's okay then we learned how to make sentences with me gusta and me gustan do you remember what me gusta is okay so me gusta and me gustan me gusta is used for is both of these mean i like okay i like me gusta is used for singular words, so only one, okay? And me gustan is used with plural, okay? We add that in on the gustan. Um, this is a verb that's irregular, and um, it's a little bit different, okay? So me gusta and me gustan, okay? Perfecto. Um, so those are way things that you can, ways you can practice, sorry, uh, making little sentences, Right? Muy bien. Okay, so now we're going to move on to las frutas. So repeat the vowels for me. Las vocales una vez más. What are the vowels? Okay, we have a, e, i, o, u. Okay, a, e, i, o, u. Okay, muy bien. A, e, i, o, u. Okay. So you'll hear those sounds a lot. So let's go over to las frutas. Okay, muy bien. I'll make that a little bit bigger for you. Here you'll see my cursor here. And I want to make them a little bit bigger for me. So repita, por favor. Repita. Repita, por favor. Aquí vamos. We have la pera. La pera. Pera. Okay, so I'm going to say it, yo voy a decirlo dos veces. I'm going to say it two times. And then I'm going to say, como se deletrea. That means, how do you spell? And you're using the alphabet. We're using the alphabet a lot because that is a foundational thing that never, ever changes. La pera se deletrea P-E-R-A. Como ah, la naranja is orange. La naranja, orange. ¿Cómo se deletrea la naranja? N, A, R, A, N, J, A. La naranja. La sandía. Repita, por favor. La sandía. Sandía se deletrea S, A, N, D, I, acento A, sandía. ¿Cómo se deletrea bananas? La banana, la banana. B, A, N, A, N, A, la banana. And we have el plátano next. So in some countries, they use plátano as a normal banana that you would buy at the grocery store. But for those of you who've eaten plantains, right, it's a bigger, it's the same family, looks exactly the same, but it's bigger plantains. Um, we can use plátano is the next word, el plátano. P, L, A, acento, T, A. N O. El plátano. Next one is la manzana. La manzana. M A N Z A N A. La manzana. Let's do one more and then I want to tell you, give you some remind or remind you about some of these letters. The next one is la piña. Piña. P I N Y A. La piña. N Y. Okay, let's stop there. So, the accent in Spanish, let's talk a little bit about the accent. So, the accent mark in Spanish, and I might have said this before, Senorita Erika may have said this as well, your other Spanish teacher from Rola, is that in Spanish, there's a natural um, uh, accent or a stress on all of the words, okay? And it's the second to the last vowel, okay? Um, so you start from the back, 
banana. You have a a a ba na na. So listen to how I move the stress on banana. 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 I'm moving those in the different areas on purpose. I'm showing you as an example. The natural stress is on that second to last bana, banana. Okay? And that's a natural position, the penultimate vowel, we say. Okay? The penultimate vowel. Now, very important, muy importante. If you see a, an accent, 90% of the time is because that word, the foundation of the language, which is Latin, doesn't come from our Spanish language. It comes from another language that, that doesn't follow that natural penultimate vowel sound, okay, or penultimate stress or accent. And so we're telling you that you need to move that accent around, okay? And we're telling you where it's at because you wouldn't know where it's at unless I told you. Spanish is a very logical language, okay? And it's very formulaic for the most part. And so we're being nice to you and saying you need to move the accent here. So uh, for platano, okay? So the second to last vowel is A. So it's not platano or platano on the last one. It's we're telling you move it to the front. And that's why it's there. Platano, okay? Um, same with sandia. I want you to um, stress the I, sandia. Okay, then we have the in with a tilde on it, a squiggly. That's nia. So it's not pina. It's piña, which is pineapple. Piña. So when you go to, on vacation, you get a piña colada. It's piña colada. Piña, the nia sound. And the last thing I want to highlight is we have words with J in it. The J is an H sound. So if you look at the first word on our list, it's orange, which is naranja. It's not naranja. The J is pronounced as an H sound. Naranja. Naranja. J is pronounced as an H sound. Naranja. But the name of J in Spanish is actually J. Okay. J. Naranja. Jota. Okay, very good. So let's read those very quickly one more time. Fast. La pera, la naranja, la sandía, la banana, el plátano, la manzana, and la piña. Muy bien. So vamos a continuar. We're going to continuar, continue. Repeat after me. Yo voy a repetir dos veces y luego vamos a deletrear. Okay, so we have... La fresa, la fresa, okay, that's the strawberry, la fresa. Fresa se deletrea F, R, E, S, A, la fresa. La cereza, la cereza. La cereza is cherry, and cherry se deletrea C, E, R, E, Zeta A, la cereza. Uva, uva, la uva. U, V, A. Uva is grape. Uva. Melon, melon. Melon se deletrea M, E, L, O, acento N. We're moving Melon, that accent to that last vowel. So I'm telling you to move it. That's why you're seeing the accent mark. Melon. Same with this next one. El limón. El limón. O, we're moving it, right, to the last vowel. I'm telling you because you wouldn't know. And you're drawing that little accent mark. Limón. L-I-M-O. Acento N. Limón. La frambuesa. La frambuesa, F-R-A-M-B-U-E-S-A, la frambuesa. Tangerine is la mandarina, la mandarina, se deletrea M-A-N-D-A-R-I-N-A, la mandarina. La papaya, la papaya se deletrea P A P A Y A papaya. 
Y en español es Y, papaya. El durazno. El durazno se deletrea peach, D-U-R-A-Z-N-O. Durazno. And lastly, we have melocotón. M-E-L-O-C-O-T-O-Y, O acento N. Sorry, O acento N. Okay, muy, muy bien. So we have a great list here. I'm going to have you at home practice it. Right now, you're going to read solamente las frutas. Tú vas a leer en voz alta las frutas ahora en casa. Go. Okay, muy bien. So, um, let me just say this list for you one more time, very quickly. One time and quickly. Muy bien. La pera, la naranja, la sandía, la banana, el plátano, la manzana, la piña, la fresa, la cereza, la uva, el melón, el limón, la frambuesa, la mandarina, la papaya, el durazno, and el melocotón. Okay, so English to Spanish and Spanish to English. As you all know, we can say, como se dice, right? Como se dice. So we have an upside down accent mark, uh, question mark, como se dice. You respond with se dice. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so como se dice. That's how, como, se, se dice. Okay, so como se dice is how do you say. And then you respond by saying se dice. Okay, so that should be upside down question mark. Um, it wasn't working with, for me here, so I just put a question mark because in Spanish, you circle the question with an upside down question mark first and then at the end, another question mark. So I'll leave it like that, but no, you should flip it upside down at the beginning. Okay, muy bien. So, ¿cómo se dice pineapple in español? Muy bien, se dice piña. ¿Cómo se dice banana en español? Se dice banana. ¿Cómo se dice peach en español? Muy bien. Se dice peach, durazno. ¿Cómo se dice orange en español? Se dice naranja. ¿Cómo se dice apple en español? Apple se dice manzana, right? So here on the screen you have the question with the upside down question mark at the beginning. And then the response is it is said or we say it as se dice, it said. That's how you start your sentence. Learn it as a phrase, okay? That's how you respond to that question. ¿Cómo se dice cherry en español? Cherry se dice cereza. Okay, a couple of more. ¿Cómo se dice mm, pear en español? Pear se dice pera, pera. ¿Cómo se dice my favorite fruit is watermelon? So, ¿cómo se dice watermelon en, en español? Watermelon. Watermelon se dice sandía. Okay. This is from last week. Me gusta and me gustan. Me gu they both mean what? Muy bien. They both mean I like. That's the translation. I like. Me gusta is for singular words or verbs. And me gusta is for plural words. Both of them mean what? I like. Okay. Here we go. Mm, I like 
I like grapes. Grapes is plural, so which one do you use? Me gustan, right? Me gustan uvas, plural. Um, I like tangerine, one tangerine. Which one do you use? Me gusta mandarina. Perfect. Um, I like pears, plural. Me gustan peras, plural, the N and the S. Me gustan peras. Um, I like mm, cantaloupe, just in general, one cantaloupe. Me gusta mm -hmm, melon. Me gusta melon. Okay, here we go. I like papayas. Me gustan papayas. Me gustan, plural, papayas. That's one. One more, one more. I like, mm, let's see, I like raspberries, plural. Me gustan, because you need the plural one. Raspberries are frambuesas. Frambuesas. So, me gustan frambuesas. Okay, so you already know como se dice. We use that actually a lot. We know me gusta or me gustan. Now, let's say um, use the verb said for Halloween. What do you want to be? Or what are you? Those are two different questions. What are you? You come to my house for a Halloween party. And I'm like, what are you? I am an orange. Yo soy una naranja, or yo soy naranja. Um, I am an apple. You try this. Yo soy manzana. I am a lemon. Yo soy limón. Yo soy limón. I am not a peach. Yo no soy Un durazno. I am not a peach. Um, I am not a grape. Yo no soy, yo no soy una uva. Now let's go we. You, so on your chart, you have nosotros or nosotras somos. Um, I am not a pineapple. Sorry, we are not a pineapple. Nosotros no somos una piña. Nosotros no somos. I right? would put the no in front of the somos. Perfect. And let's do one more. We are not um, a banana. Muy bien. Nosotros no somos. Okay. Banana, banana or plátano. Nosotros no somos. So this is a silly game, but we're trying to teach you the structure of the language. Subject, verb, and then we're using the vocabulary word, her, vocabulary words here. Las frutas, right, as the object to make full and complete sentences. And you can do this at home with the, these lists. And last week we practiced with los vegetales. And this week we're learning las frutas. Muy bien. So repeat after me. Let's work on the las frutas una vez más. This time I'm not going to show you. I want you to accept the words into your head and your ears and repeat out loud. Let's see if you can repeat after me. Repeat after me. La pera. La pera. La naranja. La naranja. La sandía. La sandía. Okay. Muy bien. Um, we have la banana. La banana. La uh, el plátano. El plátano. La manzana, la manzana. La piña, la piña. La fresa, la fresa. La cereza, la cereza. La uva, la uva. El melón, el melón. El limón, el limón. 
la frambuesa, la frambuesa, la mandarina, la mandarina, la papaya, la papaya, el durazno, el durazno, and el melocotón, el melocotón. Okay, so on purpose, I didn't show you those because I wanted you to practice them at home, just sort of listening to them and repeating them. Okay, so tip, homework tip for the day is, um, have you heard of Quizlet? Okay, so Quizlet is a way for you to make online flashcards that you can actually put on your phone and practice with. So go to Quizlet.com. You might actually be able to find these vocabulary words, las frutas, the fruits, las frutas, on Quizlet and practice them on your own. If not, you can drop the list here um, into Quizlet, download it on your phone, and practice it. So that's your homework tip of the day. So, but bigger homework is make sure you know all of the vegetables and all of the fruit. Okay? Muy bien. Muchísimas gracias y nos vemos pronto. Adios.